Hello friends, welcome to MSFT Webcast and in this video demonstration we are going to see how to install and configure NFS on Windows Server 2012 Ultra. So this video tutorial will guide you through the installation and configuration steps of NFS on Windows Server 2012 Ultra. So there are times when you need to access some Windows shares from uh, Linux machines or system that have some Linux variation. So a few methods exist on uh, how you can do this and NFS is one of them. So NFS exists uh, for a long time in Windows, starting with Windows Server 2003 and it's still here in Windows Server 2012 R2. So by sharing a folder using the NFS protocol, Linux users can map that share on their system and use it as a central location for their documents. So there are a number of reasons why you may need it, such as a backing up SharePoint or sharing files with Unix Linux computers and for the most part it works fairly well. So the only downside of using NFS is that you can't have the uh, granular control on those shares like you have in Windows, but usually you have a read, write and read only permissions are there and that are enough. So let's begin by installing NFS on Windows. So to do that just open so Manager and then click on add rules and features. On before you begin page click on next. Uh, on select installation type, select role based or feature based installation and then click on next. On select the destination server, select your destination server where you are planning to install NFS rule. And for this demonstration, I am going to install on my domain controller and that is SRTFN TC01. Click on next. Now click on file storage and services. Then uh, expand file and iSCSI services. And over there, select server for NFS. It will ask that it will add certain features that is required by NFS. Click on add to add that features. Then click on next. Click on next. And click on install to start the installation process. Okay, so as you are seeing, the installation is succeeded on our server. Click on close to close the installation result. Okay, now next step is uh, configure an NFS share. And I'm going to use the order method. On my D drive, let's create a new folder. Share one. Now right click on it and select property. Select NFS sharing. Click on manage NFS sharing. Check share this folder. Enter the name share name which sure you want to refer for this demonstration and going with share one. Now click on permission. Click on uh, Add and then enter the IP address or host name of the client which you want to allow the connection to this NFS share. And I want read and write type. Okay. And as you are seeing, we have a 192.168.49.201 uh, and we have a read and write permission. Root access is just allowed. So click on OK. Click on apply. Click on OK. Before you map this uh, from a Linux client, you need to set the proper NTFS permission or the client will not be able to read the share even though it is in the IP allow list. So switch to security tab and add everyone with the default permission. So click on add. Add everyone, click on OK, the default permission. Now if you want client to be able to modify or uh, write in this share, set the permission to modify and write. So everyone, let's modify. And as well as write is there. The final access on the share is determined by the both the NFS permission and as well as the NTFS permission. The most restricted permissions will finally win. So click on apply, okay. Click on close. And you now have a simple NFS share hosted on a Windows Server 2012 Ultibox. So let's uh, go back to my uh, client computer which is running on Ubuntu 15.10. Okay, so this is the, my uh, Ubuntu client computer and let's check the IP configuration. The IP address is 192.168.49.201 and if you check the connectivity to my NFS server, Okay, so as you are seeing, we are getting that replay from our NFS server. So let's create one directory on slash 
and the share and then hit enter now let's mount the share mount.nfs srtf1 dc01 share1 and then okay as you are seeing we just mounted this share which we create on our nfs server and that is share1 now let's go inside this nfs share and uh, it is the ls right now there is nothing going back on a server under nfs share folder let's create one file sample this is a sample text file let's have this okay let's come back on our server let's run ls again and we have a sample.txt we can also create uh, another file let's create a vim dot i dot txt i seven quit and let's come back on our server let's refresh and as we are seeing we have a detex file okay so this is the way how uh, we can create an nfs share on the windows server 2012 r2 and this is the way how we can access the nfs share on our linux client computer so that's it for this demonstration thanks for watching this video